let's solve a couple of questions on the properties of distance and displacement. The first one says Sarthak is driving a car on a straight road. The car's displacement in a certain time period is delta x that is minus 1 kilometers. Which of these could be correct about the distance covered by the car during the same time period? And we have to choose all the answers that apply, which means there could be more than one correct answer. All right, as always, pause the video, give this one a try first. Hopefully you have given this a shot. Now it says that Sarthak is driving on a car on a straight road and the car's displacement is minus one kilometers. So let's try to draw this. Let's try to draw, let's try to draw a car and the car, okay, this is all right. So here we have the same car and this is the same car and the displacement displacement this is this is delta x that is given to be as minus one kilometers if we try to represent the car as point object we can say that the initial position is over here and the final position is here and delta x this is again the displacement is minus one kilometers this is the initial position ip and this is the final position fp and this displacement minus one kilometers this displacement really tells us it really tells us the shortest distance. It tells us the shortest. I'm just trying to choose a pen over here. Um, okay, it tries to tell us the shortest, shortest distance between any two points. So between these two points, the shortest distance is minus one kilometers. So distance really cannot be less than one, right? Because because if displacement is the shortest distance between these two, how can the distance be less than less than one? Over here, minus sign is just telling us the direction. So if the so here we have assumed that the left direction is negative, so it's it's displaced by one kilometers to the left. That's the minus sign. It tells the direction, and one is the shortest distance between these two points. So option A is wrong. Distance covered cannot be less than one. Option B says distance covered is more than one kilometers. So for this one, let's think about a scenario. Let's say the car started from this point and then went all the way, like followed this path, went a little back, then again came forward, then went much ahead in the final position, then came back to the final position. Even in this case, the displacement is still minus one kilometers because the displacement only depends on the initial and the final position. It does not depend on the path, the entire journey, all the distance that the car traveled. So here, yes, the distance covered is more than one, it's insanely more than one kilometers, but the displacement is still minus one. So option B, the question is which of these could be correct? Option B can be correct because distance traveled can be more than one kilometers. Distance covered is one kilometers. Well, let's see if the car started from the initial position and then it just went straight and to the final position. Here the magnitude of displacement is one and also the distance covered is one kilometers. So distance covered can be equal to the displacement. And this is only true if the car traveled in a straight line, in a straight line between the initial position and the final position. The car traveled in a straight line without ever reversing, going back or going far ahead in the final position. It started from initial position and then straight line traveled to the final position. Only then the distance can be equal to the displacement. All right, let's move on to the next question. Here we have Manveer who observes a car's motion on the road and draws the distance L, distance L versus time T curve for the car as shown below. Here is a curve. Farooq looks at the curve and immediately concludes that this curve is drawn incorrectly. So Farooq says there is something wrong with this curve. Which portion of the curve led Farooq to this conclusion? Again, as always, pause it, try it once on your own and then, then resume the video. Okay, so we need to choose one answer, A, B, B, C, C, D, which portion of the curve could be wrong. So now let's think about it. Manveer is observing a car's motion on the road and draws a distance L versus time and Farooq looks at it, says something wrong. So this is a distance versus time curve. L here is distance. So, okay, the car starts from A. And as time progresses, it travels some distance, reaches point B. Nothing really seems wrong with that. Car is traveling forward. Now, after point B, the curve, it bends down. And this is where the point C is. Let's try to draw that as well. This is, this is point A and this is, this is point B. So this happened in, in the first, in this much time interval, let's call it, 
let's call it t1 so this much happened in t1 and then after after point b it is at point c so in this portion of the curve it it means that the distance is decreasing with time distance is decreasing with time maybe that could happen if after point b the car went went back the car went back and now this is this is a point c maybe this is what the curve is trying to show but we are drawing a distance versus time graph not a displacement versus time graph distance cannot decrease it cannot decrease with time because even if the car started moving backwards you are still traveling more distance you traveled initially a b then you traveled some more b c so distance it will need to increase constantly because in, even if you reverse if you start going back you are still traveling you are covering more ground you are traveling more distance yes if there would have been displacement versus time graph then the story would have been different but the distance distance can never really decrease it even if you start going back it's still covering more ground traveling more distance will always it will always increase so bc seems to be the wrong wrong part of the curve let's look at cd cd means that there is no change in distance as time progresses which can totally be true because the car could be at rest so cd can also be right so it turns out bc is wrong bc is the wrong portion of this curve because the distance has been shown to decrease in this part of the curve which is not possible